Welcome and hello. My name is Heidi Swevens. Uh, I am here with artist Paul Betts for the next installment of the Masked Artist Talks. Um, I'm so excited to be here with Paul. We had a talk last time. I'm going to do a brief introduction before we get into the conversation. So um, as I said, my name is Heidi Swevens. I use she, they pronouns. I'm the Director of Community Partnerships with Inclusive Arts Vermont. And so one of the things I get to do is work with artists and uh, on the exhibition. So really grateful for that. For access purposes, I'll do a visual description of myself and surroundings. I have blue eyes and pale skin with short brown hair. And today I am wearing an autumn colored <laughs> flannel, button down flannel. Um, behind me is uh, blank walls and shadows and various lights. Um, and the mast exhibition, just as a sort of reminder, if, if you're new or just listening um, for the first time, the mast exhibition is a collection of um, art from 22 Vermont artists with disabilities. It's traveling the state um, through August, not August, April of 2023. Um, it opened in January of this year and it will travel um, through, as I said, April of 2023 at the state houses where I'll end up. And it's currently at Main Street Arts in Saxons River, Vermont. And Paul's photograph, Mossy Crevice, is one of the pieces in that exhibition. So Paul, I'm gonna invite you to introduce yourself and so glad to have you with us today. Great. So without further ado, the photographs, right? <laughs> um, yeah. Is it okay if we start with Mossy Crevice, which is the, the yeah. one that is in the mass Yeah. Okay, let's go there. And Megan, um, who is behind the scenes with us today is gonna do a, a verbal description of this. And then Paul will ask you to share more. On the screen, we have a color photograph of a rock a large rock covered in moss, um, bright green, vibrant moss. It takes up the about three quarters of the image. And then coming out of the top of the rock um, is a wooded hillside with some trees. You can see the, the very bottoms of the tree trunks going upwards um, and a nice leafy, green, vibrant foliage among the trees. Thank you, Megan. And Paul, um, tell us a little bit more about this photograph, if you'd like. Well, um, Ah, uh, so 
so that you have a new camera, which we'll want to hear more about, but this particular photo was taken by your cell phone. Did I get that? <laughs> yeah, the cell phone cameras are pretty amazing these days. Yeah. So um, I'm I'm curious. I, I mean, I've heard this story before, but I think that the audience might be curious. Where is that photo taken? Because um, if you use yourself, it seems like maybe it was a spontaneous photo adventure <laughs> rather than one of the ones where you brought your camera with you. So tell us a bit more about that. That is. Um, Improvising. Yeah, sorry. Ethan Allen Park, so there's a tower there, it sounds like. curious what made you stop to take this photograph you know you're heading towards the tower and did the mossy crevice did something catch your eye or what made you be spontaneous and improvise there um right yeah I, I don't know. I mean, I'm similar sometimes. And if this isn't what you were saying, Paul, correct me, but you were just passing it and you're, wow, that would make a great picture. <laughs> Let's just stop and see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I know we have more photos, um, new photos to share. And you also have a video um, that you, um, this video, tell us about where the video is from. Um. Okay, uh, I buy, I buy, 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 Mm-hmm. 
I was um, really excited. We were talking at the beginning of the year about your artist talk and you, at that time you were saying that you had had made a video or were making a video about how you do it, about your process. And so- um, right. you remember my, you remember my mm-hmm. uh, I feel like never. Yeah, so so Finn helped with the video. Yeah. And, yeah, great. So yeah, thank you. Have, we will help a lot of people Yeah. It sounds like a collaborative effort. I, yeah. I'm remembering in our first the first artist talk we did for a new we and this is my recollection, so it may not be all that relevant you can tell me to just get on with the video but you mentioned that was other people that helped out you know kind of the the way there's parts of photography that you do by yourself and it's your your vision if you will and then there's yeah. logistics of support to make it happen so yeah. um without further ado can we shift to the video yes yeah, sure. <laughs> okay and um i love i love that you know instead of you answering all the time, you made a video to explain um, something so that people will have a better understanding. So here we go. This is Megan speaking. Um, we are gonna share a video by Paul Betts about his photographic process. Um, I'm gonna do a very short um, verbal description of the video. There's an audio of a banjo strumming in the background. It's a slideshow of images. Some images show Paul taking photographs with his camera set up that is attached to his wheelchair. And other images are photographs he has taken of the Vermont rural landscapes. Some of the featured photos show a barn, an evening landscape of a lake, a red apple on top of a rusted car and a geometric staircase. There's also text that um, is embedded into the video and I will read it aloud as the video plays. My story capturing simple beauty. Meet Paul Betts, a local Vermont artist. Paul loves to capture Vermont's natural beauty. Rusted Barn, photo by Paul Betts. In spite of his challenges, Paul creates art his way. Paul's experience and perspective help him to develop his own distinctive method and style. His unique view of the world through his work. Apple 
Orchard. Photo by Paul Betts. Geometric Treehouse. Photo by Paul Betts. Well, that's a wrap. Check out Paul's work, bestbetsphotography.com, Instagram, and Facebook too. Great. Well, thank you. So, Paul, what do you what do you have to add? Do you have anything to add to that, or more you want to say about the video? I mean, it's clear there may not be more, but I just want to invite your perspective. Um, and when I when I saw the whole put together, uh -huh. he, he didn't even tell me he was going. He just stood out here. But when 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 I decided was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. That, so that I. I have to finish it because it was like this big way to explain to people how I can make photos. It's a lot of what I definitely do it for. Yeah. yeah. I, I was curious what your reaction was when you first saw it. And what I'm hearing you say now is it was amazing. <laughs> so, I will, yeah, I'm glad I you. Will, I, I would just, I, I would just find that he, that he, um, that I would get, I would compare, I would work. So what I'm what I'm hearing you say is that it's you you do a photography you do one at a time and then this one had them all together and sort of that sense of yeah. 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 Oh, I'm so glad. And and then I'm curious um, because I noticed the music. So how did you come up with the song to play in the background? Well, well, because I hate a computer. Mm-hmm. Um, and and I, we were Matching the theme with the Vermont rural landscape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know, many artists um, are inspired. So you're a photographer. Uh, 
and in the artist networking and other places, artists that I've talked, I, um, and this may not be true for you, but sometimes, you know, music puts somebody in a creative mood or there's, you know, these connections between different disciplines or different genres. So it sounds like you were very intentional about the music that you picked to go with the photography. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Can I ask another question about one of the specific images? Um, yeah. The apples on an old car? Oh, okay. Instagram, uh, an Instagram contest that had 400 entries is or more. or more. Yeah. Instagram is, I'm not on Instagram. Well, I'm not using Instagram, but it seems like a popular thing. So I'm curious, Paul, was there a theme of, you know, Apple photos for that contest or? Was uh, yeah. Well, we had, well, we had to go. For that, and what we had to do for that on that is for we had to go to we had to go to the cell phone and the apple tree, apple everywhere. Uh -huh. And then we had to, we had to pick, we had to pick, we had to pick the best, the best, and it was like two out of the three, mm. and signed mm -hmm. into them, but you also had to create an account at the same time. So we were saying angry, angry account and all this stuff. And then because I already had the debt, I kept going, I, uh, 
What a beautiful segue, Paul, from Instagram contests and spontaneity to some more images from another adventure. I, I so yeah. appreciate the um, diverse kinds of photography that you do and also yeah. the place that you take your camera and your cell phone. So yeah. with that, are we ready for these? Do you want to do any introductions on the photographs, Paul? I I was going to uh, back home right now. Uh, this, this is my video name. Uh, I mean, photographs into that way. I have to, I have to do with a, a, um, a concert in Los Angeles, they are in Boston. Mm -hmm. I had my crew. With the flipper and still get playing all at once. <laughs> so, Motley Crue, um, Def Leppard, and what was the last concert? And Joan Jett. Joan Jett, all at the same concert? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wow. And this was in Boston. So, you were, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I believe they wanted to the concert, and then there is one or two of the Boston Aquarium. Uh, the aquarium. So what if we we switch to the photographs now and then we can you can share more about them after? Does that work for you, Paul? Yeah, that works. And why don't we go one at a time? That way um so uh, Megan can describe it and then you can add in more of the story if you'd like. Is that okay? Good. Yeah, um, we'll be sharing three photographs by Paul. The first photograph is on the screen. It shows moon jellyfish inside a tank. Um, they are floating throughout the whole image and they are lit by a black light. So all the jellyfish are kind of glowing in the water. So Paul, tell us tell us more about that that image and um, what speaks to you, what you like about. It. Well, what, what, what I wanted to point out with 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 not with no but nobody will nobody will share pain. Nobody will share a piece in the video. The, the day, the day that me and Tuesday went to their cram before we went to the concert. Mm -hmm. was, we in the Boston Aquarium itself. And the Boston Aquarium itself. 
you for that that background and i'm gonna just um highlight a couple of the things that i heard that the aquarium was before your concert and there was about 200 people in the whole aquarium before the concert yeah um and then you were commenting on how dark the photos are and the improv Im how you were improvising with holding the camera and being in the dark. Did I get that? Yeah. Okay. Because that um, the uh, description of the sort of uh, moon jellyfish being lit up and you know against the dark background, it seems like the dark really stood out for you too, Paul, as you were taking the photographs. That that was part yeah. of the experience for you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because uh, I don't mean, I don't mean that I didn't care. That it was dark in the whole building, so it's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. And did you use any flashes if it's dark? I mean, I'm just thinking of it's um, not just um, Apple, it's almost Halloween, so like the spooky dark. But um, did the camera, was that without a flash? It must have. Not, not too many flashes, but one or two. Gotcha. Okay. 
Well, thank you for that additional information on the, the story. Does that does that photograph have a name yet? Um, I I never had a boy. I um, I would say not. Um, I would say like uh, dark going into light. It's almost like the jellyfish or the lights, <laughs> right? Yeah, that, that's what it reminds me of because it's so dark. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. How about, is it okay to go on to the next photographs? Because you, we've talked about the concert a little bit, but I think, actually, I don't know if there's more of the aquarium or the, the concert, so I'll be interested in finding out. <laughs> and so we'll do the second photo now of the aquarium and, you know, lo and behold, <laughs> turns out the three photos we'll share today are of the aquarium, but in my low vision blurred way of seeing the world, I saw lights and dark background and I thought it was a musician on stage because I knew Paul had gone to a concert. So um, we'll get back to the aquarium photos now. And uh, Megan, thanks so much. Um, the second aquarium photo is up on the screen. It shows a large aquarium tank from the top. Um, it's like a circular tank and inside of the tank is lots of different brightly colored coral um, in the water and then in the bottom left corner there is a diver in a wetsuit with a tank on their back around the tank is a kind of like a platform where people at the aquarium can view down into the tank and there are people lined up around that rim of the tank on the platform looking down into the coral and um, onto the diver. Great. Thank you. And anything to, to share about this one, Paul? Um, yeah. Um, what, what this photo is, and every, um, every day at the Bosnia Aquarium, they have, they have uh, several, they have several shows. And what were, what were, what were, what were. What we're working on now, and we're working on um, one of the one of the one of the shows going on, and people are going around working on all the time. Mm -hmm. That's what we're that's what we're working on now. Great. One of those shows. This um, it's not a concert, but it is a show of sorts. Yeah, it must have been amazing to for you to um, be able to experience and witness all of that, Paul. Have you been to the aquarium or a place like that before? Um, not, not in several years. Not, yeah, not in several years. All right. Are you ready for the third photo now? Sure. Okay. The third photo is up on the screen. The in the in like most of the image is black, but in the very middle is a window looking inside an aquarium tank. Swimming by the window is a sea turtle. The turtle is mid fin flip. Um, and is the turtle is looking right at the camera as well as it swims by. And behind the turtle is different pieces of brightly colored coral. Okay, thank you. So Paul, what 
what do you want to add with this particular photograph? It sounds like from the description that the turtle's looking at the camera. So maybe they're familiar with the paparazzi. Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a perfectly timed image, you know. Yeah. Am I remembering correctly? Um, and I know everybody has different memories, but I seem to remember that you went to a bird um, place in Vermont and you had a photograph that you shared at your last talk with a bird, maybe an owl kind of looking right at the camera. Is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, natural world in uh, yeah yeah so thank you for sharing those additional photos paul and you know i think with your video and you know some of the conversation we have a sense of kind of how you take your photographs and some of the supports and yeah. we're winding down our time um for this portion of the the interview we'll go live um you know at a later time but i'm curious what does photography mean to you? And you know, if you want to just share as an artist, as a photographer, how do you find value and meaning in the photography that you do? Well, well I, I enjoy it for one. Mm -hmm. And I have a, a perspective. Being 
someone to find me. Um, 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 I all kinds of comments. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, then, about well, 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 how did I say drugs and such sort of? Well, how did I do that? Where did this one come from? Where did that one come from? Uh -huh. um, and then when I tell people, uh, when with very little help and a little help from the whole day system me that day. Um I I could actually take the photo myself. Mm -hmm. And that 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 that's me. Uh, the enjoyment I have of that. Yeah. The enjoyment comes from framing and the parts of it that you, you see yeah. that are yours. Yeah. 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 Well, Paul, I am so grateful to have had this conversation with you and um, the stories that, that accompany the photographs. Um, maybe that's just how I see and experience the world. I am a storyteller and I love the stories and um, the laughing at some of the misunderstandings. <laughs> but I'm um, so, so grateful for your time. Is there anything else um, you want to add? I know when we go live, we will be sure to post your website and Instagram and Facebook. And I think they were in the video. But anything else you want to share with the audience today before we say bye for now? Um. Um, I, um, I, 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 I am still, I am still working for, I am still working for places to, 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 uh, Yeah, without a car, some of those logistics have to be done differently, but yeah. not as fast. Yeah. And I, I will send you my two or three photos from my concert. <laughs> you can pick which, which one you have. Great. Thank you for keeping me um, accurate, even if after the fact. <laughs> and you, you're sharing, you know, like you, you're working on the framing and this, I think, you know, many artists and humans, but artists and photographers in particular, there's yeah. always more projects, you know? <laughs> so sometimes it's nice to pause and yeah. kind of like after the video, just, oh, it's amazing. And then there's more to do, <laughs> you know? So yeah. Um, yeah, well, thank you again for your time, Paul. Um, yeah. We will pause for now and um, we will uh, reconvene when we go live. And uh, thank you again for all your time and creativity. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.